it's the graduation day for these medical students from the Banadir University. 132 male and female medical students graduated here today, becoming the first batch of doctors to graduate since the institution was created in early 2002. Banadir University was set up in 2002 to train medical doctors, but in 2009 a suicide bomber attacked an event similar to this, killing at least 19 people, among them four government ministers and medical doctors who were graduating on that day. Osman Dufle, a renowned medical doctor, is among the survivors of that attack. He is now a lawmaker in the Somali federal parliament. It's a historic day today. We're witnessing the graduation of 132 medical students. I thank the Somali doctors who came together to form Banadir University and train these young people into professional doctors. Now, our main task ahead will be addressing the health challenges in the country. Happy days for these graduates, but the memories of the 2009 attack remain vivid. Security was tightened on this occasion compared to the Sham Hotel attack in 2009. The graduates now want to play a role in improving healthcare conditions in a country where access to basic health remains a major challenge. It's been six years of hard work. I'm glad to be a part of this success story here today. We are aware of the immense health challenges facing our people. We hope to assist more the Somali women and young children. Most of the hospitals are understaffed and lack equipment. Majority of those at risk include pregnant women, children and elderly. Somali mothers and young children have no access to proper health care. As a government, we are working to improve that. My message to the graduates is to consider working in areas outside the capital, where many people need help. As they become medical doctors now, these graduates are aware of the challenges, but hope for better days ahead. Abdulaziz Bilon, CCTV, Mogadishu, Somalia.